welcome or welcome back to my channel exotic roots here i make natural hair and lifestyle videos if it's your first time here do not forget to subscribe down below and also follow me on instagram at exotic roots on today's video we're going to discuss my sephora recommendations for their upcoming holiday sale i did a video last year as well for the sale i'm going to try today not to repeat the same product that i mentioned but i'm still using those products i still love them very much however during this year i picked up a couple of new products so this is what i'm going to talk about We're gonna start by category. First one is going to be skincare. I don't have a lot of things from there. Um, the first thing that we're going to talk about in skincare, and it's going to be one product that I mentioned last year, just because this year it's now available in Canada. Last year it wasn't. So it's the Unseen Sunscreen from Supergroup. I'll also try to put a picture up there. I love this sunscreen. It's very light. If you have oily skin, it's great for you because it's not good see at all and then you apply it on your skin it literally disappears the next thing that we're going to talk about is the glow facial from Ula and Rixen last year I mentioned that I was probably going to get it but it was very expensive so I wasn't sure I did end up purchasing it it's really good I really enjoy using it and whenever I do I feel like I'm at a spa because it's a very gentle exfoliator it doesn't have any grainy sensation you apply it on your skin you scrub it for about two minutes you let it sit for 15 minutes and then after that you rinse it out and then your skin will be glowing next up we have ready to glow daily age a tonic from Ren this brand i discovered it during quarantine actually and this is actually my third simple bottle is it my third yes it's my third one and i couldn't wait for the sale to get a bigger bottle so this is definitely going to be in my wish list this one i use it in the morning with a cotton pad and i feel like it removes all of the impurities from my skin to make it glow love 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 using this i will be purchasing a bigger size during the sale the next thing i'm going to recommend is from laneige it's from their holiday sets um they have the glowy balm and also the lip sleeping mask those two products i love them very much right now i'm wearing the glowy balm and also a little bit of lip gloss i love using it um if i wake up in the morning and then i just need to head out my lips are feeling dry I apply the glowy balm and then I'm good to go and at night I also like using the lip sleeping mask and then when you wake up in the morning your lips are just so juicy the last skincare product that I have it's the clinic take the day off it's a cleansing balm so you use that to remove your makeup you can have the heaviest You can have the heaviest face of makeup and then this will take it all away. I love using this. I still have a simple size. I don't know if it's a simple size. I still have the travel size and I use it all the time. It's still there. Love, love, love using this. Now, let's move on to makeup. I'm actually quite surprised because this year I have a lot more makeup products to talk about. First off, we have the Fenty Gloss Balm set. They came out with a set as well last year. This year's colors are a little bit similar, but they're still different. I actually swatched them all on my Instagram, so you can definitely check that out. Um, I'll put the link in the description bar. Um, it's a no-brainer. I love Gloss Balms, and now you have access to four new colors. They are a smaller size as well, so they will fit perfectly into your purse next up again from Fenty it's their Sona lip paint in unveil every time that I wear the shade people ask me about it because it's a rich chocolate brown color that looks amazing on medium dark to dark skin love love this this is actually my favorite shade from their um, Sona lip paint and um, it's been over a year and it's still going strong love this last year i suggested two makeup palettes from anastasia beverly hills it was the soft glam and the jackie anna palette 
um, I would still recommend a hundred percent however if you're feeling a little bit bold I would suggest this palette from it's still Anastasia Beverly Hills but it's Norvina collection and this is volume 3 I loved using this during the summer however for the fall I'm still finding a lot of browns yellows oranges to work with so definitely I would recommend this if you're feeling a little bit more adventurous I couldn't talk about an eyeshadow palette and not mention an eyeshadow primer this product right there it's very key very important if you don't want your eyeshadow to look very patchy or not well blended an eyeshadow primer will help you achieve that smooth buttery look it makes a world of difference the one that i have here is from anastasia beverly hills it is actually a pretty penny but it works very well even like too well if you apply too much of this your eyeshadow look will be screwed the so, next product it's a blush from NARS I've been using this since last year and I love it it's a very nice pink coral ish color um, it also has little specks of glitter so it works as a highlighter and also a blush so one product does the job of two products love 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 this blush it's in this shade torrid the next two things that i wanted to talk about are from marc jacobs these are eyeliners and i have a dark brown and also a blue eyeliner i love using the blue eyeliner whenever i'm using the blue mascara i love that look it's so effortless but it still looks very beautiful and then this one I use it all the time in my waterline instead of using a black eyeliner I find myself using the dark brown because it's a little bit softer on the eye it's been about a year since I've been using them they were great they're smooth and they don't really tug on your eyes whenever you're applying them so love 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 this the last section that we're going to talk about is hair care I actually do not get a lot of my hair products from Sephora besides Diva Creole and Briojo there's no brands that are making me like leave my beauty supply store Camaro's my organics or Shea Moisture to pay 40 to 50 dollars for one single hair product however I would definitely recommend the new Briojo avocado kiwi hair mask this is the hair mask that I've been using during the whole summer I love using this it's very moisturizing on the hair you get a lot of slip to detangle it's amazing there's one hair product that I would recommend a hundred percent worth your money from Sephora it would be this one Briojo also has their Don't Despairy Pear hair mask that it's pretty good as well and for the holidays they have a dip conditioner set and this one I would definitely recommend because you get to try three dip conditioners at once and then the last one from hair care is high shine from diva curl it's a multi-benefit oil so this one i like using it whenever i'm done with my style and then i just want a little bit of shine if you had relaxed hair you know it's the same thing as a shine spray i apply it on my hair very quickly it's a fine mist to give your hair that glow and it also smells very good now that we're done with recommendations we're going to talk about my wish list same as last year i have a budget of 200 dollars that i do not wish to go over so right now i have the skincare set from ren it has the toner that i spoke about earlier and also two face creams so one for the night and one for the day i'm very excited to try that i've heard great reviews and i have the opportunity to buy a bigger size of the toner that i mentioned before the next product is the dermalogica daily exfoliator i think it's called um jackie anna talks about this all the time and i really want to try it it's like a gentle exfoliator for your face it's a powder you put it on your palms you add a little bit of water and then you apply it on your face it just sounds very good so i want to try that for myself the next product is something that i've been putting off buying for the longest time it's the nars soft matte foundation i've heard great reviews i haven't heard of somebody not liking it and i have oily skin so finding something that is soft matte like it's matte but it's not too matte it still gives you a little bit of glow and i tried multiple samples from sephora right now sephora is not giving any samples so they gave me like let me see if i find it so they gave me this little thing right there with shades that might match me um 
this is how big of a simple but I did the job so I know what shade I'm going to get and I'm definitely gonna get that during the sale and then last but not least this one I'm not a hundred percent sure about it but I saw it and it looked very good <laughs> so I might get it it's the NARS orgasm X cheek palette so it has an eyeliner and two blushes it has the regular orgasm blush that i already have and also the orgasm x the orgasm x the only difference with the original is that it's a little bit more orange and i've been looking to get an orange blush so i might i might get it and then that's it that's it let me know what you guys are planning on getting this year i'm very curious i'm always curious to know what you guys will be getting if i'm missing out on something let me know down below thank, thank you guys so much for watching the video if you did enjoy it do not forget to give me a thumbs up comment down below something you suggest me get from sephora or if you have any questions about the product that i mentioned and i'll see you guys next time Bye guys!